hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. When I hear this word, God is the God that revealed himself. He revealed himself to a lot of people. In his word, he revealed himself to a lot of people. God revealed himself to Moses. He re revealed himself in the life of Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, the life of Ruth, the life of Deborah, the life of Elijah, the life of, you know, so many believers. So many believers. And God is still revealing himself to this very day. So I don't know who you are. You fell as if God is not revealing himself in your situation. But I'm here to tell you that God is about to reveal himself to you. This is a prophetic word unto somebody. Prepare your mind and let your eyes set upon God. Don't let your mind to be set upon prophets, upon men or women of God. They can disappoint you because when you set your eyes upon them, upon anyone, upon me, upon a human being, that, oh, through this person, this is where God will reveal himself. You might get disappointed. Let God be the one to decide whom he will use to reveal himself to you. Many people want to buy revelation. Revelation cannot be bought. Revelation is a gift that God has given to us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Revelation cannot be bought. I repeat that word. Revelation, it is something that God gives to us to you so that we will, not be, we will not fall into the plans and the will of the enemy for us. The enemy has plans and will for us. But through this revelation, it can be averted. It can be divided. God can remove it so that we don't become a prey in the mouth of the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Right then when you study the word of God, God had me to tell somebody. He said, list him all. List him all than you talk. List him all. List him all. Than you are seeking him in some places. Seek him personally from your place, from your own altar, from your own place where you call the Lord. Hallelujah. Where you, where you call upon the Lord, the place where you call upon the Lord. He says, seek him there. He's about to reveal himself. He said, once has he spoken, he said, but twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Once has he spoken, but twice have I heard that power belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. God, reveal yourself to me. If God is going to use someone to reveal himself to you, let him decide whom he will use to reveal himself to you. Don't put your mind. When you put your mind on someone, you are like, if this person, this person is the one that will reveal to me, this person is the one that will reveal to me, you will miss it. You will miss it. I am telling you. You will miss it because you will not see that person as God. So God will not want you to that pe God will not want you to give that person his glory. So he will block the ears of that person not to have any revelation concerning you. This is a deep something that should be taught, especially in this generation where we are. When you like somebody, you are like, oh, if God did not reveal it to this person, oh, God reveal it to him, reveal it to her. You know, this is the person that I want God to tell. You don't tell God what to do. It is God that decides what to do for us. He gave us the best of life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God is about to reveal himself. You have to prepare yourself. All you have to do is to focus your mind, is to pay attention and say, Lord, I am here. Reveal yourself to me. And God will reveal. He reveal himself through dream, through men of God, through women of God, through studying the Bible, through prayers, through meditation in his word. God revealed himself in multiple ways. And that God 
is also about to reveal himself to you. And I pray, may you not get carried away and you lost the vision that God is showing you. Some of us, we need to pray for the gift of revelation. It is very important so that we don't get lost because where there is no revelation, people will perish. Where there is no vision, people will perish. Where there is no knowledge, people will perish. But God is saying to you that he will reveal himself to you. I pray may you be alerted in, the spirit, in, the, in your spirit's mind. May your spirit be alerted. May your spirit be informed. May your spirit be ready to receive and to hear from God. I pray for you, child of God. You will not miss your gift of revelation. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.